All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is the Hobie Compass video that you guys voted on. It's probably gonna be a quicker video. It's my wife's kayak. Uh, she keeps it pretty simple, usually just a yak crate in the back, you know, her rods, baits, stuff like that, throwing some stuff in the hatch. But we made some mods to it to make it a little bit easier to get into those hatches, more storage space, and just nicer fishing all around, especially if my buddy wants to take it out. All right, so the first thing we need to get out of the way is this is a 2018 Hobie Compass. So there's no uh, sail mount. There's no handles on the inside here. I mean, there is a little cutout. You can't really see, but there's no uh, black trim on it. And the other thing is there's no inserts here on the sides to install pedals or, or your foot pegs or whatever if you want to paddle it. Other than that, it's basically the same thing as 2019, but First thing we did was we upgraded her to the Mirage Drive 180. We bought this as a demo model from Kayak City and got it shipped. We paid $2,050 with the 180 drive upgrade for a demo model. And that was actually only $50 more than we could get it brand new here without the 180. So, and that's including shipping and tax and everything. So it only cost us 50 bucks to do the demo model with the 180 so we went ahead and did that and just got it shipped and uh, there was some very light scratches on it other than that it was in good shape it was going to get those scratches anyway now the next mod that we did was this little mod when we had the hobie cart so this is very similar to something like the outback where you can lay your cart here with the wheels on the back here and this bar goes right here across and you can wrap your bungee around that and then clip it underneath this little peg and it'll keep your cart clipped here. We don't have the Hobie cart anymore, but we just left it there uh, just in case we ever do decide to get one for this ever again. And uh, it worked great. It worked just like the uh, Outback did. So, and it's, it's really sturdy. You can probably pick up the kayak from it. But the next one we did was add these little keep water out of there just rod holder covers um, compasses do not come with them we she doesn't really use these rod holders so just to keep water out uh, I installed these on there for and we don't have to worry about water getting down in there now the next couple mods are the big ones we have the square hatch with the tub and then I installed the netting out of my tub here or the netting out of, uh, yeah, my tub here. And then another one here off my kayak. And you have the tub in here. Pops right in, closes right up. And then we added the Burley Pro uh, side bro, which she can keep her cell phone and whatever, you know. Uh, since baits whatever you need quick access to that you're not worried about dunking over or getting wet and then you can your pliers and your fish grips um, we also with these side tracks here we can also mount my old Garmin fish finder with the um, yak attack is it sling blade whatever the transducer arm is that we have I have that so that I can let a friend borrow it or I can put it on the bona fide or put it on the uh, compass if I want to use that. And that way I have my old Garmin Striker 5 that I took off the uh, Pro Angler and Outback that I used to have. And I can just plop it on here if I want to use her compass and take something lighter. Now the next thing is we moved her center hatch to the front hatch, cut that out and she has a bucket in here just for dry storage. Um, probably gonna keep like a first aid kit or just stuff you don't really need to access all that much, but it'll be nice and out of the way up here. One of the very first things we did, other than like the rod holders or that peg in the back, was this right here. This is the uh, Pro Angler Paddle Clips. I made a video about this on the Outback when I had it. It works the same way as the Outback. Instead of that really weird bungee that has like a little tab, so you can re we re remove that here too, that little tab. There's the threaded insert, but we removed that. Instead of having that really hard bungee that's hard to click behind this strap here, you just put two Hobie Pro Angler paddle clips 
and they screw right in after you unscrew the bungee off. Uh, you can use pliers, but they do sell a tool so you don't scratch them all up. But um, yeah, and that just clips right in, pops right off. Pops on, it's not going anywhere unless you want it to. So that was one of the first mods we did. And honestly, this is probably my favorite mod because I had this on the Outback and it worked great. Uh, I know she loves it on the compass. She really couldn't stand the bungee system. Uh, hopefully one day they just kind of remove that and just put one of these in the center here. That would be ideal instead of the bungee system. Um, two is really overkill, but that's kind of what you have to do when you remove the bungee. But it works fine. It works great. Uh, I'd really like to see them just put one of these on here in the future. But other than that, really, I mean... The seat hasn't really been modded. Nothing else about the kayak has been modded. So all in all, we have this peg here, rod holder covers, these Hobie Pro Angler paddle clips, the side bro here. Now on this side here, we have the mesh pocket that's not the rubber, it's just the normal cloth material. Then we have the square hatch with the bucket, the circular hatch up front, and the Mirage Drive 180. So pretty simple, but that's what we've done to the compass. Uh, if it was my compass, I probably would have tricked it out a little bit more, but she's way simpler when it comes to fishing and you know, she's not really into it like I am, but she loves this thing. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this Hobie Compass video. If you wanna see more about the Hobie Compass, maybe I'll take this out fishing this year and try and get a feel of, uh, what it feels like to fish off of and maybe trick it out a little bit more. Um, so if you like that, drop a like. That is just a few mods that we've been able to do. Like I said, she's simple when it comes to fishing. So there's no uh, mods like I've done here on the old pro angler, but you don't really need all that stuff. That's just excessive. This is a very simple platform and I think it matches the simplicity of the compass and what Hobie was trying to accomplish with it. But if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to see more. I think the next video we're going to do is either the how to save money kayak fishing or the bonafide SS 107 video, which would probably be the save money video. As you can see, we saved a lot of money with this, with just a couple mods and of how we went about buying this. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one.